Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64! So, we got quite a bit done last episode. Mainly, we made our uh, pasture for our cows and our sheep. So this should uh, change up our daily routine just a little bit. Also, our wife is now pregnant. So instead of going to the barn and taking care of my animals right away, I'm going to go to my greenhouse first. And then either take care of my animals after the chickens, or I'll take care of them, like, at the end of the day. We'll just have to wait and see which feels better. So something I'm going to do, you'll notice there are those vegetables in the middle of these. Well, hmm. I'm going to get rid of one of those, but I need to figure out which one to get rid of. Alright, so for my tomato plants, and my eggplant plant, I'm going to sickle away that one so we can pick the middle one now. Now I'm going to sickle away that part of the corn plants. There we go. Alright, I probably should have sickled this part of the plant instead? That'll make this a bit more annoying, but it's okay. It won't be too bad. Moondrop plants are almost grown. Pink catman plants are doing well as well. Yeah. Why can't I move up? What the f Okay, that was really weird. You guys saw that, right? Invisible eggs? What the heck? Okay, that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Never has an Emperor's New Groove quote been so... true. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. My family has run this flower shop for three generations now. Ooh, that's cool. Not being sarcastic, that actually is pretty cool. Hey, Poppery. Here you go. Wow, I love this! Don't you think flowers are great? Um, yeah, they're alright, I guess. Hey, man. I can count. Oh, the one, two, three, ah, ah, ah. You doing alright, Ellie? I'm glad I learned a lot of baking and cooking from my grandma. She's gone now, but her flavors live on. Oh, she looks like, looks like Ellie's doing a bit better. That's good. I want to know why the other bachelors aren't getting married. At least Kai and Gray should get married by now. Oh. Because I've seen all of their rival event scenes, and I'm really good friends with both of them. I should go back and take care of my animals. I'm going to take care of them at the end of the day from now on, instead of at the beginning. Because it can take quite a while to get uh, take care of them all when they're in the pasture. Hello, Sean. Yeah, you can see they're eating individual pieces of the grass. Yep, Belle seems to be in a pretty good mood today. That means... <laughs> I'm getting tired just brushing my animals. That's kind of pathetic. Yeah, you can see Belle right there. She's got the happy eyes all the time. This will be grass that I... is purely for sickling to give my animals more food inside the barn. Sorry, honey, I'm working late tonight. But do not leave your cows out in the pasture if it's raining. Otherwise, their eyes will bulge out and they get sick. Smooch. Morning, sweetie. So here's my new normal for watering plants. So I make sure to fill up the watering can before beginning. Alright, now I need to check... How many does this have left? Okay, 17. So then I water this one, and then if I had sickled this plant instead of this one, I would water this crop from up here. Instead, I have to move slightly back down there to water it. And that perfectly waters all the plants, except the one that I sickled. And this way, I shouldn't have to refill my watering can as religiously. One. Two. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, and again, perfectly waters all of those corn, except for the one that I sickled. What the heck? Is that an invisible eggs again? Okay, the collision detection got all messed up. Is this just the new fane? The eggs are going to be invisible every day? This is so weird. This is so weird. I have never had this happen before. And now it's, I think it's going to be like a daily fane or something? Hey, Harris. Have a piece of cake. Wow, thank you very much. I'm trying to fish. Oh, yes! Yes! I finally got it. Yeah, I've been fishing since like fall trying to get that power nut. There's like a 2% chance or something that you can catch that out of the ocean. Sweet! There's a chance I could get all the power remaining power nuts here in spring. Let's both do our best. Hey, Cliff. Is this okay? Thank you. Kane seems to like you. Aw, well, thank you. I really want Karen and Kai to get married. I don't know why they're not tying the knot. I really want all the bachelors to get married. Yeah, this is much nicer, not having to feed our cows every day. And it makes time go by a bit quicker. Of course, at this point in the game, I'm realizing that by the time I'm done playing and, like... I really need to take a break. I don't have enough footage for a half hour episode. So I either need to start playing for a really, really, really long time. Or I just need to have shorter episodes. Ideally, I'd like to have still half hour episodes that just breeze by. But that also requires a lot more play time. Medium milk. Sweet. I like it when Maria crates up the eggs, because then I don't have to worry about invisible eggs. Oh boy! It's gonna rain tomorrow, so I have to bring my animals inside. Hey, brother! Hey, Stu, what's up? Boy, you're great! I've never seen so many flowers before in my life! See ya, brother! Yeah, that's why I wanted to plant flowers. Stu likes it. So, I think our moondrop flowers must have grown then. That's good. All right, bringing the animals back inside is a bit of a pain. Is a bit of a pain. Pick, will you pick that up? Thank you. Get out your bell. Now they should all follow you. Make sure you ring it more than once to catch any stragglers. Now you kind of got to push them back in the barn, which is a bit tricky. And nope. You guys go up. You guys go up. Sheep, what are you doing? I see you're not going towards the barn. Yeah, it's, it's very irritating, and this is going to take almost all the day. Move it! Get in that barn. Oh my gosh. Yeah, for, I feel like I should almost just use save states to avoid rainy days at this point. Because, jeez oh, Louise, how much time did that take? That took more than half the day. It's ridiculous. Also, I only have one cow that's not fully grown. Oh, good grief. Those two cows have literally merged into one, and I can't get them to separate. I think there's still one cow I didn't get around to milking. You also notice that they're giving midi medium milk much faster now. That's thanks to being in the pasture. Sure enough, our moondrop flowers have grown. But we're going to leave them in the ground because we want Stu to admire them a bit later as well. Hi, Maria. I'm not working too hard. Don't worry, Maria. I had a new power nut after all. So we had the one that we dug up in the farm, which had like the 0.2% chance of showing up whenever you dig in your farm. We had the one we fished in the ocean, where you have like a roughly a 2% chance of catching one when you uh, catch a fish in the ocean. 
We got the one from the water sprite of the mountain pond. That was the Kappa when we threw the large fish in. Came out of the rock by the pond. That's the one we got for smashing the rock in winter with our golden hammer. Came out of the mine. That's the one we got in the third floor of the mine. Received from the Goddess of Spring. That's the one where we threw uh, the egg in the Goddess Pond between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. when we had full strength and wished for strength. There's the one we bought for a thousand at the Flower Festival. And then the one we won at the Egg Festival. So, that's eight. There are ten Power Nuts in the game, plus the Anti-Rain Berry, which doesn't show up on there. So, yeah, depending on what happens in three days, we could potentially get all of the Power Nuts this season, which is kind of cool. I'm also not going to go into town today, because I've got uh, stuff I want to plant. I'm going to plant more flowers and more grass seeds. I'm always going to till the soil for the flowers. I'm at low enough energy that I'm not going to be able to water them and plant them all at once. Oh, sure enough, out of energy. Dog on it. Why is my horse on my porch? Get off. This is not a Dr. Seuss novel. There's a horse on my porch. Oh dear, what to do? Perhaps I should get a torch for the horse on my porch. With the torch, I can scorch the horse on my porch. <laughs> and call me Norse, but I don't like a horse on my porch. Doesn't that sound like a Dr. Seuss novel? I mean, like, it really does. All my cows are fully grown. This is great. Well, this is great. Because to win the cow festival, you need to sell a certain amount of milk. Not from one cow, just all your cows combined need to have sold a certain amount of milk. And your cow needs to be at a high enough affection. With this, we should sell in all the milk we need, just in time. And our cows should get at a very high affection due to us putting them out in the pasture. So I've been thinking about why the eggs are invisible in the chicken's coop when Maria doesn't crate them up for me. I have a theory. So, I'm sure you guys can re have realized by now, I'm playing this on Project 64. I'm not, this is not an actual N64, even though I do have the game on the N64. I did this because the save states can just really come in handy. The problem is, because I basically just, when I'm done recording, I make a save state, and then I stop playing, and then I reload that save state when I play, uh, make another recording section, this is still treating it like it's my one and only playing session. Like, the game still thinks I haven't actually taken a break since I've started playing. Oh, shoot, that's wrong. Oh, well. So that's a little bit interesting. So I'm wondering, because the game is basically like, this game has been running for like a day straight, because I've been saving the state instead of actually stopping the simulation and quitting and reloading uh, manually, I'm wondering if that's having like an effect on some of the stuff in the game. Like say, rendering small sprites like eggs. I don't know. Maybe that didn't make any sense at all. Hey, dude. I brought corn. Hey, did you put your animals inside the barn? You shouldn't leave them outside. Yes, I did, and boy howdy was it a pain in the butt to do. I love this infinite supply of flowers. It's amazing. I mean, it's finite in a given day, but they replenish every day. Hey, Grape. Sorry. Sure is raining a lot. Anne is not here. Where did Anne go? Is she having a meeting with Cliff somewhere? I hope Cliff and Anne get married soon as well. We've seen, like, pretty much all their scenes. I don't think we can see all their scenes anymore. Because their last one, I feel like it's supposed to happen in winter. And I didn't, I didn't trigger it, so... <laughs> Where does that leave us? Is church closed when it's raining? That's kind of weird. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. I think everybody wants to be kind. Yep. So many places are closed on the Sabbath. Hey, I thought you'd be in the bakery. Have a strawberry. Wow, I love this. When you're tired, sweet foods are the best. See ya. Keep up the good work. She's got to almost be at a pink heart now. Little Ellie's grandpa helped me out a long time ago, and that's how I came to live here. Oh, that's nice. 
Hey, mother-in-law. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. It rains a lot. I really do want to become good friends with the mayor and his wife, because there's a pretty cool series of scenes you can see. Uh, watch in fall, if, you, if they're at, both at a high affection level. It also concerns Maria, but I don't think her affection level really matters for triggering those scenes, but the mayor's does. Okay. So, I've got these seeds, which are the moondrop flowers. I'm going to plant more of those. It's creating more slowdown, because I've been planting so much stuff on my farm now. And now, here are the pink catmint seeds. Oh, come on, Jack. You're fine. And then, that's the fifth one. That's all the pink catman seeds I have. And I'm about to pass out. And this is after I ate something. So great. <laughs> Even with the extra power nut I got in this episode, it's still a lot of work to handle the farm. Smooch. Gotta take a bath. Gotta water my flowers now. <laughs> Darn it, I'm just using all my energy watering my plants. I probably need to eat a lot of- Oh no, are you freaking kidding me? I need to go all the way back to my greenhouse. Fill up my whole watering can just to water one seed. That's funny. Yep, you can see the wood has rotted there. Which means I need to replace it. Eventually. What the heck? I've got telekinetic powers! Hi, Maria. Well, the horse is also running into you, so that might have something to do with the dizziness. Alright, to deal with rotted wood, you need a hammer. Alright, need 13 cabbage seeds, 13 turnip seeds. 20 potato seeds, cool. Letters last forever, so I'm more careful than when just talking. Probably a good idea. Wow, thank you very much. A person who has no one to love is sadder than a person who cannot get the love they want. That's very true. I'm scared of me and my grandpa dying. Why isn't grandpa scared? I don't understand. Why does everybody die? I don't want to die. I'm um, sorry. Yes, that's a hard concept for, for kids. Actually, that's just a hard concept for everybody. Cheer up, kid. I know that's not... I never know the right things to say in these situations. I sometimes don't understand what the minister is talking about. It's too difficult. Well, I understand when I grow up. Yes, you will. I Believe me, I have been there. This is why they have Sunday school. Oh, why did I put my bell away? I need my bell. Now I know how Gaston feels. Alright, what's the best way to go about doing this? Hey, you too, cow. Come on, Mary Moo Cow. That's not the right way, Mary Moo Cow. No, why do you move up when I barely even touched you? But it takes, like, a lot of pushing, usually, to get them to go the way you want. Will you get outside? Why did it take so long to push that cow? Move. I said move. Man, these cows can be so difficult. You didn't go outside. You're going outside. You go in the pen, in the pen, you get in the pen too. Dude, stop interrupting me! 
I swear these cows are being like as difficult as they can be. Alright, let's see. How many pieces of lumber? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, just five? That's it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Use the hammer to get rid of the rotten lumber. Put a new piece down. Take it one at a time so your animals won't escape. And I immediately break my own rule. And because I really don't want Jack to jump over the candlestick. Get, get in there. Come on. Dunk on you. Hey, it's you! Hey! Hi, Artie! How you doing? I brought you a gift. A power nut! Try it. Yes! You're the best, Basil. Yeah, alright. I'm missing one power nut. Well, goodbye. See you later. I could I could very well easily get the last power nut in spring, then. Sweet! The local horse race will be held on the 17th. We'll accept applications on the 16th. Green Farm News. Okay, yep, Basil came back on the 15th. If you are, if he is at a high enough affection level for, with you, he will give you the power nut. I was not expecting that power nut till year two, but this is great! <laughs> to get the last power nut, it involves stew and the flowers we plant. And hooray! Everything grew all on the outside. <laughs> that is not the watering can. So my new crop orientation, I'm going to put potatoes along this row. I'm going to put turnips in the middle up here. And the reason I'm using turnips is because there are a small handful of people who do like turnips more than the average gift, namely the mayor's wife. Then I'm going to put cabbage along here to help replenish my cabbage stock when it gets too low. So I can give some to Maria. And I'm putting it as far away from the shipping bin as possible because it grows the slowest, so I'll have to make the fewest harvests. Alright. Time I'm gonna go out and give some gifts before I go back and do all my other chores. Oh, thank you. Hey, stop being so eager. I say this every day. <laughs> Come on, Doug. We're buds. Flower buds. Because it's Flower Bud Village. Hey, Grip. Sorry. I saw Tobias. I'm offended. Just get married, dude. How, how much do I have to befriend you before you do that for me? Hi, Anne. I think spring is the season animals like best. Yep. When are you getting married? It's not like I got married super early. And hey, it's Basil again. You like corn, right, Basil? Oh, thank you very much. Raising plant is God's job, you know? We just help. I think it's a great thing. I agree. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Hee <laughs> hee, hello. Hmm? I look happy? Well, I am. My hubby's back. Well, that's a pretty good reason to be happy. I'd like some tea. That's weird tea. And pie. Bomb. Doing that to build up my stamina, so I definitely will have enough stamina to finish planting all my grass. Dee, 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 dee. Ooh, thank you! That makes me happy! Yes, May likes potatoes more than other stuff. We interrupt the school lesson to bring you this tomato. <laughs> Which came first, the chicken? <laughs> I love how, like... Okay, it's not, like, funny, but, like... Kent is having essentially like an existential crisis over here, and his brother is just like, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Very different. <laughs> Looks like Stu got over Grandma's death a bit faster than Kent. Thank you very much, is it really okay? I don't want that inedible thing. Okay, wow, dude. Okay, watch it. There's the egg up there, right? Well... <laughs> the force I have learned! <laughs> this is so weird! 
If you have ever encountered this glitch in the game, please leave a comment telling me. I want to know if it's like, does this happen? On, can this happen at any time? Does it happen after a certain amount of time? Does it only happen if you marry Maria? Does it only happen if you leave the game on for like 24 hours straight? Please let me know all you know about this strange phenomenon. What the heck? Don't run away when I'm trying to brush you. Why do the cows always move away when you're trying to brush them? It's very annoying. Alright. Let's hope we can milk our cows, shear our sheep, and plant the grass before it gets too late. I'm not clipping my cow, I'm clipping my sheep. Good grief. Stupid cows separate already! Doggone it! My cows are being so freaking difficult. Oh, it is too late to... Wow, it is incredibly late. I'm never gonna get this grass planted, am I? Well, I can't keep my wife waiting. Looks like I kept my wife waiting too long. Great! She already went to sleep. Fantastic. I'm sorry, honey. I hope that doesn't lower her affection. That would be bad if it did. I did some weeding. It feels good to clean things up. Sorry, honey. My stupid cows were the reason. Hey! Hey, why don't you enter the local horse race tomorrow? I think you do pretty good. Nope, not till fall. What? You don't have confidence in yourself? Just giving it a try would be a good experience. Well, I can't force you to do it. I promise, in the fall, I will. Oh, what? Why did that one not get watered? I am planting the grass today. <laughs> Finally, spring has come. With it, let's fill it with flowers. Poppery. I'm so used to it just saying no mail today that I pretty much automatically skip immediately, which is not good. <laughs> hey, Cliff. Is it okay? Thank you. She's honest. Her face always shows what she's thinking. It's interesting to watch her. So go talk to her, man! Come on! Ship, ship, ship! Oh, what scene is this? Oh, it doesn't have to be autumn. It can be any season. In this way, I was completely deceived. I'm sorry, dear. That's too bad. Why didn't you tell me first? He seemed to be in a lot of trouble, so I thought I could use my secret savings. Oh, gosh. Honey, please don't be so depressed. Aren't you angry with me, dear? I don't get angry about such things. That you're a good-natured is an old story. I'm sorry. I'll look for a part-time job. Oh dear. Well, Maria will be worried if she sees that long face of yours. Try to put on a happy face for her. I thought that didn't happen till autumn. Yeah, that's what happens when you befriend the mayor and his wife. And that is also literally the one and only scene in the entire game where uh, the mayor's wife is not robotic. <laughs> so I gave her an appropriate voice. Trust me, things are about to get good. I'd love to see a baby, but... <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I never knew she said that. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dane, okay. She's just like, so... Kids. Hint, hint. <laughs> thank you very much. Is it really okay? Yes, it's really okay. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. People who only want to be loved cannot be loved. First, you have to give love. Well, that contradicts itself, Pastor. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's you. Spring is good because it's the season when all life gets reborn. Yeah. Do you just say the same stuff all year? Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Everything's half price today. Hmm? Of course I'm just kidding. Poppery would get angry. Alright, this should... Yep. Yep. This is, in my opinion, one of the best scenes in the game here. 
well, I don't have to work for a while. Uh, that's not the right voice. I can't decide whether I should give this guy, like, a shifty kind of voice or, like, the Honest John voice from Pinocchio. Let's, let me try that. Well, I don't have to work for a while. No, that doesn't fit him. Uh, I can't do the voice ever, so... Well, I don't have to work for a while now. Please wait. Whoa! Okay. Yes, that is Maria angry. That is literally the only time in the game Maria is angry. Well, even if father and mother forgive you, God won't. That That's not true. That is not theologically true. God will always forgive you. What? God? I don't care if other people forgive me. I don't expect my happiness to be answered with prayers. I'll work myself to become happy. Are you really happy getting only money? Stop it. Don't use your own yardstick to measure other people's happiness. Well, bread girls like you can't understand. Don't you feel a pain in your heart when you hurt other people? No. Are you afraid of hurting other people? I don't like it. It can't be good that people hurt other people. You don't want to feel uncomfortable yourself. You want to feel comfortable, so you're kind to others, right? No, that's not it. All men are egotistic. Well, I must be going. Please wait. Something else? I can't express myself well. Maybe you're right, but... but... I... Gold pendant? God's blessing? It'll just be turned into money, you know. Goodbye, young lady. Am I wrong? Is he... happy? Ooh, what happens if we select all of these? I don't know. Excuse me. Well, that didn't seem like the right choice. He's happy. You think so? I feel a pain in my heart watching him. Excuse me. Honestly, I do think he's not happy. I think he's just kind of deluding himself. Praying for him. Is it self-satisfaction after all? Excuse me. I really do think that is one of the most powerful scenes in the entire game. Apart from Maria, well, you know what? This town's not Christian anyways, so the whole God won't forgive you thing, maybe? If they're talking about a different God than the Christian God, then yeah, that might be theologically sound. It's not otherwise. But besides that, that whole scene is very interesting where it's, it's just very deep and it's not really something that's common with a lot of video games. Mostly you get just the filler romance scenes, but that's actually, like, a really deep, like, worldview-shattering kind of event. You got the atheist, and you got the religious person, both trying to understand each other, essentially. Ech. Still think it's weird that I have kinetic <laughs> telekinetic egg powers, but... Stop running away from me when I'm trying to brush you, doggone it. I'm milking them. <laughs> well, that was funny. Stop trying to merge into cow lump! Free at last. Now I can finally plant this stupid grass. I've been trying to do that the entire episode, but I'm always either out of energy or it's too late in the day. Maria, please don't go to sleep before I arrive. <laughs> please still be awake, Maria. And she went to sleep again without us. She's tired. I get it. All right. That's going to do it for this episode of Harvest Moon 64. Wow, this was the longest recording session I've done in one sitting by far. It's probably an hour and 45 minutes, I'd say probably going to get cut down to less than a half hour. We'll just have to wait and see. Hope you enjoyed it. 
And I hope to see you for the next episode. Let's see. We... No, there's no way we're finishing Sprain. We'll probably have two more episodes of Sprain, though. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless.